BMWs lock out the top spot. But this is as wide open as a Bathurst Enduro has ever been. Away we go on Easter Sunday. The high-tech oils Bathurst six-hour bursts into life. Pole sitter leads us into turn number one, and look at the amount of cars, 59 of them. They're still coming up underneath the high-tech oils bridge. The BMWs lead us up Mountain Straight for the first time. Long as production cars have been racing in modern era, and this is that traffic stuff we've been talking about. And the little Toyota 86 getting out of the way, and then the Class E car. Shane Fowler will start that race. They've wrapped the bonnet with the Easter Bunny for the celebrations this morning. Replay, so top. Oh, it's got oh. some airtime as well. So, did it start on the opposite side or did yeah. it go in on the John Hanks That's Vista side? It's gone in at the crate, I would assume. That's quite a significant impact. More happening. This is at the top. And whoa, oh. moment here for TD. Is that TD? And Dwayne West behind the wheel now. And oh, oh. my goodness, a really tricky part of the circuit in the field. How did they miss that? It's such a narrow part of Mount Panorama. This year, so we're watching the red Mustang, white GT stripes. It's got something coming out the back there, yeah. That's what Yeah, no absolutely. To it's like photographer Nathan Wong on the spot to get the photo, as he always is. It's what they, oh, and the cut. drama's here. That's blown up. And that goes back to that clutch drama this car was having before, and the brakes on the 28 Spinifex recruiting BMW. Matt Harris behind the wheel, they were 34th. And they've stopped at Murray's corner. Green. Marcus Ambrose leads at Mount Panorama. <laughs> I wanted to say <laughs> that for a while, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> in, sounds good. In second place is Chris Lillis in that HSV. That's a good result for those Straight, guys. A little bit wide oh. and a glancing blow of the BMW M signage at the elbow. You could tell he was under pressure knowing some faster cars were coming behind. He's gone, obviously gone very deep, washed wide, clouded the wall. And, oh, no. How? That car had just been given black flag as well for a restart infringement. Oh, gee. Oh, well, he kept the boot in, didn't he? <laughs> oh, and this is going to be quite oh, a big accident. Dear, That's a huge dear. hit. That's a very big quick, uh, hit on the hard concrete wall, and it, it's not generally a place cars end up, so there's no tyre protection alongside it. So the Ford Ranger V6 recovery ute is quickly at the scene. And that's normally a bad sign and then cars are sliding yeah. off behind him here. So definitely there must be something on the track. Yeah, Looks like it is coming out of the exhaust system there too. So it could be terminal for the engine. Yeah, these guys have had a solid day so far. Car 42 in the B2, which is high performance, normally aspirated class. The SSV Commodore, not that modified from what the road cars are. And they generally been a very reliable product in this race but unfortunately uh, it's come off now that's also caught out several other cars one of them was the class c leader in the camilleri nicholas mazda 3 mps while all that was going on this is aaron russell up the inside of adam burgess at turn one so this is for position number three check Here this out is. conrod straight watch car 21 white Background. bmw there he is oh what grass what are you, you talking are about kidding me it's like an extra few horsepower on that grass today that is awesome. Feels about this with one of his own oh cars my. as it steps out and almost grazes the wall at the exit of the Worth Cutting. The temperature is certainly rising, Stubbsy. Yeah, we're just talking to the team here, to Simon Hodges with the J No Jada in the car, and uh, they have ticked off all their CPS, but the Beamers, they think an hour and 10, uh, same as the Russells, to get home. So they do have to come in and get fuel, but CPS ticked off for them. In the background, of this shot, perhaps, or is this more contact on the way up? Now there it is in the background of the shot. Uh, it's similar to what the dude did here years ago. Yeah. And much. Taz Douglas and several other drivers. Well, and he came back to win. I'm not sure if that's going to happen again this time. Keith Bensley is behind the wheel. Oh, did he get some help? You oh, bet he no. did. And he's a passenger. Oh, this is going to be hard. Oh. That's a two or three deep tyre barrier. For the final step on the podium, Randall's going to try and get into this as well. Anton Di Pasquale will never say no, we know that. What about this battle? Brake discs glowing, sun setting, and the final step on the podium well and truly alive. Anton on the outside, can he hold on? Has he got enough to go side by side on the run up to turn two? They're trading paint. They rolled the dice early on strategy and it's paid off. They got track position and it's paid off. They took a gamble on fuel and it's paid off. And Jaden Ojeda, after passing people on the grass down Conrod, is going to deliver an incredible victory 
for Car 21. It's a huge win in the high tech oils, but the six hour. Jaden Ojeda and Simon Hodges have won an incredible race. The juice has done it here in 2023 at the High Tech Oils Bathurst Six Hour. He's raced through Formula Fords, open wheelers here in Australia, in F4 and then into supercars. He's had wild card rides, walking short. Oh. <laughs> nice work, buddy. And, but that is the biggest drive of his career. That is enormous, oh, anchored by some bold passes, oh, scything his way through lap traffic. And that moment forward. down Conrod straight where they were 15 wide and he kept his boot in it going down Conrod well, that, with two wheels That's what won him in the race. Mm. you got to say, I mean, that's where he got...